Okay, here we are. Cessnas and the new Piper M700 Fury. We're kind of That's a badass looking plane. My money. Yes to both. Yes to both. Right on. The modern pilot owner is is training on Garmin. It's doing 300 knots at 30,000 feet. If we were to compare this to the TBM. My name is David Carrier. I'm a passionate entrepreneur who founded a business in 2007 with a multi-million dollar exit in 2021. I've been a global sales manager, manufacturer, CEO, private pilot, and now I'm semi-retired. My daughter Stephanie is a former NBA employee turned successful real estate agent. In early 2023, we started QuantumFly Capital Group, a real estate investment firm specializing in multifamily investments. More than anything, we're here to show you that retirement is not as far away as you think. And we want to help you get there. Please don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoy the videos. Okay, here we are. Final, final day, at least for us, for a Sunday fun. We're here Saturday morning at the uh, at one of the hangars, and I just want to make a comment. Man. Uh, these hangers are not sweat boxes this year. Is that true? I mean, we, you know, other than one bad day, what, what Wednesday, Thursday, well, the rain, Thursday, yeah. Other than one bad day, Thursday, um, the rest of the days, like today, I mean, you can. I see our shirts blowing, the wind's blowing right through these hangers. So I have not felt this comfortable at a sun and fun in a long time. I don't know about you. The sun is nice and the air is cool. That's what we want in Florida. It's, it's beautiful. So I don't know if you're local, uh, come on down. Um, I probably won't get this posted before this show ends, but uh, good luck next if year. you missed it, <laughs> if you missed it, sorry, it was a good, it was a good week. Other than, uh, other than Thursday. So we're going to go uh, check out the Cessna uh, areas and uh, see what we can see. And then we are wrapping it up for Quantum Fly. So, Cessnas and the new Piper M700 Fury. We're kind of curious to see what that one's got going on. Um, that's, a, that's, a, that's a badass money. looking plane. My money is that Piper's looking to catch TBM in the market and see if they can't draw some sales over there. Um, don't know what the M700 has yet. But um, the M600 wasn't quite competing. So let's see what they got to offer. We'll check it out. Who's been a fan of Piper? Well, I want to know what they have. And we'll try and document it for you guys. So the air is going to come into the front behind the prop, just like any any other airplane with a set of nostrils on it, right? Yeah. And it's going to hit this wall. And this, at this wall, it has to make a, a hard, if you look at it, almost a 90 degree turn to get to the engine. So what happens is any heavies, ice, rain, or snow, when your separator is open, it will, the heavies will stay out and they'll, they'll clear away and then the air will make a hard left turn without any heavy material in it. Yeah. And uh, that's why they call them inertia separator. So the inertia of the heavy material won't go into the engine. Garmin G3000. Yeah, it's good. Well, is that 3000 or it's the three screens, right? It's a 1000. What's a 1000? Just individual? Yeah, so. Just individual screens. Look on the right side of your PFD. That's how you, on that panel. Oh, okay, that's how you okay. Your point lining. Yeah, yeah. 
can't right there. It's probably got all of them. Yeah. Yes. So, so Vern, this is this is the old Mustang. Right? So I don't know a lot about this, but as far as I do know, it's the M2. They got the Gen 2 version out here. Um, the old Mustang drivers wanted to get a piece of this action, and because the airframe is different enough, they said no to the Mustang drivers. So the Mustang drivers have to get a new type in this if they want to move up to this. Uh, it's based off the Citation One, One Plus, Plus Plus, because it's got all the new it's got all the new fancy stuff in it. Would that be the slow but, Yeah, but people really like this airplane, so it's a good option. You know, an, an older model might be a little cheaper down the line. Uh, that's been brought forward and modernized for for the uh, savvy shopper. Cessna is going with, with the, the M2 Gen 2. Yeah, I think. Well, I think the tech is it's all Garmin now. I mean, Garmin's really, really got their fingers into corporate aviation, and it's not a bad thing. Um, the modern pilot owner is is training on Garmin from their primary training. There's no reason that Garmin can't work in these higher performance aircraft, and. Uh, you know, it's it's a whole ground school in a year of your life just relearning the pro line. Um, sorry to the pro line guys out there. I know you love your pro lines, but uh, modern general aviation, modern corporate aviation, it's a smooth transition for Garmin. So the tech is good. Um, as far as the M2 Gen 2, we just looked at it, and I think that is a fantastic option. Mid sixes on the uh, on the price tag. Fly it enough, get it paid for. But I think it'll do the job that you're looking for, and it won't cost you an arm and a leg. You know? How about uh, Cirrus owners post Gen 3 with the uh, Garmin avionics package? Post. Probably a good idea nowadays. Well, I think everybody needs the, the high end. Everybody's moving to the ESP protections, under speeds, over speeds, bank protections, stall, stall protections. Um, pro pilots are human too, you know, and when you're you're up front eating your, your bagels and cream, so something could be happening. And it's nice to have the airplane looking out for you as well. Um, I I would never knock a system that could tell me something's wrong, especially as ADD as I am. <laughs> uh, yeah, that is a very, that is an excellent point. So, and by the way, let me qualify that statement. It's bagels and cream cheese. Bagels and cream cheese? What did I say? Bagels and cream. Oh.
to pay us to be out there. Yeah. 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 Dave's next airplane. Uh, this, I'm, and I'm not gonna lie, this is probably, probably a good choice. Um, the M700 Fury. It's not quite the TBM, but I tell you what, it is a monster in its own right. It's got the small PT6-52, 6A-52. It's doing 300 knots at 30,000 feet. If we were to compare this to the TBM, you're getting 30 knots more true airspeed at 31,000 in the TBM. It's got all the same functions as the TBM, with the home safe button, the G3000, all of it's there. It's a smaller engine, but you're getting almost as much performance for a million less. A, new, a brand new TBM is gonna go for 5.5 million. This right here is 4.2, 4.3. For 30 knots, I'd be okay with saving a million dollars as well. Uh, if we looked at its range, its range is 1,500 miles. It's getting the same range, so it, miles it's, it's almost a no-brainer. Piper kind of knocked it out of the park on this one. You know, TBM does have the the honor of saying that they're the fastest turboprop, they're the best performing turboprop, but this is a really close second in my opinion, and if you're a Piper fan, you need to look at this, especially if you're looking at a business aircraft. If you need this, 4.2, 4.3 versus 5.5 for a brand new airplane, I, and, and, I would buy it. And the leather work is stunning. Yes, so on the inside, they've really painstakingly paid attention to detail. The inside, Dave will show you in the B-roll, really matches the outside of the airplane. It is by far, hands down, uh, good color uh, coordination, good stitching, and uh, plenty of room for friends and family. You want to you knock it over to the Bahamas or you want to get from here to Detroit, you should be able to do it in one tank of gas. So, again, good so thanks for the buck. For, for Cirrus owners, yeah. once again, Garmin, uh, basically the same thing as your Garmin Perspective. Garmin's everywhere. So, um, yeah, it's a touchscreen. The, the Garmin Perspective in the, in the Cirrus, or the Perspective Plus, you come with the MFD touchpad. In this, you're going to have an MFD touchscreen. And uh, th that'll translate up into your PFD, MFD setup. Uh, but modern technology um, is here to stay. Garmin so is here is to a, stay. This is a thumbs up airplane for 2024. Thumbs up. Absolute thumbs up. <laughs>
aircraft. Uh, so we're looking at it. It's uh, it's a a viable competitor in CBM. It's a I, w I would call it a, uh, an amalgam of the two. So you. Somebody came out at Epic Aircraft, I'm not sure the, the names or the designers, but somebody came out with an idea that I want to build an airplane that goes a little bit higher, a little bit faster, and carries a little bit more. So, you know, you always hear me talking about TVM being competing cousins, right? So if, if one gets apart, the other one's going to get apart. But really, when it comes down to brass tacks between those two airplanes is SUV versus sports car. And when, you, when you're looking at the Epic Aircraft, you're looking at a combination of both. You're going to get higher, you're going to get faster, you're going to get more payload, uh, but it does come at a cost as well. One of the, the differentiators between, let's say, the Fury, the uh, and this. Well, so the Fury, so the Fury is going to be the sports car for, for Piper, which is rapidly coming up and competing against TBM. TBM gets the 310 at 330 knots true. The Fury is going to be at 300 knots true at 30,000. So it's it, it's a competitor for sure. Um, it doesn't meet the the same specs as this, right? You're going to 34,000. You're getting 320 true, um, but you're carrying more. So it's going to come at a much bigger price tag. Right, overall, better climb rate. Better climb rate, better speed, better haul, bigger bigger engine with more uh, more operating costs throughout the year. And, and not a premium in price. Not a premium in price? Not a premium in price. I, I don't remember what he said it was. What do you say it was? It was uh, 700 grand more than the Fury. This was 5 million? 12.9. Okay. So, uh, but the TBM is 5.5. The Pilatus could be as much as 9 million. Yeah. So um, there's the bang for your buck right there. Drawback drawback to this is is that it's a brand new certification yeah um they're selling about two and a half a month so so people do like them yeah. and it's an option it's an absolute option if that's what you're doing. good for long hauls if you want to bring the dog the telephone pole and the wife's shoes you can probably uh settle in on this guy but uh epic seems like it's here to stay Well, you're protecting the other rods from the stall, right? You got the stall fence, yeah, and then you got the stall fence, you got the veins you get from the bottom, and then you and then ahead of the, ahead of the, the aileron right there, you got those bumps up, those are airflow separators, too, or yeah. They're, yeah, stall strips or something, or whatever. Like those with the adjust to, to tube this down. We have one of them. I'm not in uh, flight production testing, yeah, so but I know that they do flight production testing. Like, well, it's the Hey, I hope you guys enjoyed the trip back down uh, aviation memory lane with uh, me and Vern. We had a great time at Sun and Fun this year, and uh, I think the best way to do it was bring the RV and, and really experience all that Sun and Fun had to offer. We uh, had a great time. I hope you enjoyed the information we provided in our own little way. If there's something maybe you missed or that maybe you want to ask us about, by all means, leave a comment below and we will get back to you. Um, I hope you've enjoyed it and I hope you are enjoying the, the slight changes we're making to the channel and uh, we certainly hope that those of you who do find this information helpful and you like it, uh, do us a favor, click the subscribe button below, make sure you leave us a like, ring the bell if you want to be notified of any upcoming videos. Thanks for watching, see you next time. Thank you.